Hello and welcome everyone. This is Swati and today I bring to you a very exciting new improved and a wonderful uh, Atlassian Jira training that is targeted at both developers and testers. So this time what we have done is I mean we've had a, uh, a previous you know live Jira class and since then we've doing we've been doing like passive classes uh, but then we have had a lot of requests for an updated version because Jira has changed quite some uh, from the time that it has been uh, you know since we've taken the last session so this time we have come up with a uh, you know a power Jira course that includes like all the changes in Jira that have taken place in the recent times so we have the most current version of Jira taught plus we are actually adding in a lot of test management add-ons, test management augmentation solutions, and we are making it a lot better. So without further ado, I'm going to take you directly to our website and walk you through all the wonderful features of this program and show you how this course can benefit you. So as you can see, our course content is updated on our website, softwaretestinghelp.org. And here you will see that, you know, we have a detailed syllabus outline. Now, all of our trainings are usually targeted at newcomers so we don't really ask for any prerequisite and requisites in terms of experience education none of that uh, so the same thing is true for jira as well so this course is tailor made for anybody who's beginning out who has an interest in learning jira or if you just want i mean if you are a project manager or a tester who's trying to you know bring jira into your test management or if you are a developer who uses you know jira for your internal work management this course is a perfect fit for you now let me take you through what we are going to do in with jira so i mean uh, if you look at the couple of core uh, incident management system capabilities now there is a lot of content here which you feel free to read through it but i'm going to explain this in a very simple term jira treats all work so this work might be new requirement that needs to be built a bug that uh, uh, that needs fixing or it is just a miscellaneous task such as review that needs to be conducted it treats all of these tasks as work inside jira it's called an issue so that's basically it so jira treats everything as to do items which you can create plan and work and be able to see so basically the advantages are that there is a huge scope for collaboration so teams geographically distributed are hugely benefited and for management however there is uh, you know clear visibility transparency into the system so it improves for better efficiency and you know channels uh, teams energies towards actually working rather than managing work so jira has this very very simple concept of issue within it so the core concept if you actually you know look at it is first and foremost there is issue which is actually you know uh, any item that you're trying to work on any to do task um, then these issues are categorized in the format of a project which are further categorized as components and versions and you know to understand where exactly this process is in the life cycle stages that means you know what kind of work is being conducted at it at this point of time if you want to get an insight into that it is the workflow that generally helps us identify that so i'm going to take you to the actual jira interface now and we will talk about what are the things that we will cover in the jira class and you know probably this will act as a demonstration also to give you an idea of you know what's going to be uh, in Jira so um, we have a Jira instance already created for uh, I mean for the sake of this demonstration here however when you are going to be a part of the program we'll we'll start with uh, you know we'll start with understanding how you know uh, a Jira instance can be set up so you will have 100% complete guidance on to how to start and go from there so what we will start with is you know everything that is to do with issue so this is a very simple way in which you can create an issue so as you can see issue inside Jira is a task bug epic or a story for an agile project uh, if you're looking for a much more traditional waterfall style of a project you will have new features improvements so basically requirements tasks and you know bugs and etc so issues are any work that you'll track inside jira so surrounding the issues we will have plenty of topics like you know how do you create an issue basically how do you attach a file screenshot cloning the issue moving them all of these things so let me actually show you an already pre-created issue and we'll talk about 
what are the things we will discuss in them so this as you can see this is something that we have been already using so in the issue navigator i mean once you look at an issue we are going to talk about editing commenting assigning these issues to the respective people uh, we are also going to talk about logging work which will affect the time tracking section this section right now that i'm going to um, that i'm just you know putting the spotlight on and there's also going to be agile projects which i'll show it to you in a little bit we'll also talk about voting watching creating subtasks moving so everything to do with issues we are going to look at it in a very practical workshop sort of a manner in this jira program so really working with issues forms the crux of being able to su be successful with jira now following that we'll of course talk about what are the best practices a few tips and tricks that can help you through it we'll also talk about how jira issues can be imported from an excel sheet now this used to be a feature that could only be done by administrators earlier during project creation but jira has improved itself so even um, you know uh, typical user profiles will be able to import some issues into jira however this is considered uh, an, a little bit of an advanced topic but we will talk about that as well we will include that aspect as also uh, we'll also talk about um, you know generating reports uh, so everything that you know every project in jira gets its own project navigation through which there are plenty of reports that you can generate so for there are different reports for agile there are different reports for waterfall model projects so we'll talk about you know how different charts are generated um, you know how do we read those charts so this is just for an agile project i'm going to like you know log into a waterfall and show you how that works um, so when you just go on to the reports tab here it is going to show you the various you know uh, kind of logistics that you can generate through it so it will show you um, you know if you want to see this with respect to a signee or the components of the system it will show you how your issues are distributed so um, you know again uh, all the real-time tips and tricks will be shared on what kind of graphs are, graphs are applicable in what kind of circumstances and all that but this is to just give you a general idea next we are going to move into agile and kanban method projects so right now i have the agile setup so let me actually show you what we are going to talk about so in the agile projects we all know how things work we all have a uh, backlog now one little digression that i want to take here is how i said earlier about how our courses are meant for both beginners and experts so that's why before we go into how to manage agile projects this course includes a quick recap of uh, you know what agile methodology is and how is jira applicable to the agile methodology so we are also going to like you know lay out certain ground rules before we get into much more detailed things so we'll talk about how to create a project backlog so basically all of your issues in jira are just you know all of your uh, sorry user stories in jira are basically your um, you know issues of the type story now with these we'll talk about how we can add them to a sprint backlog how we can start a uh, backlog I, I mean sorry how we can start a sprint uh, how we can continue a sprint and create various scrum boards so we can get to see the exact progress of what is going on jira at this point of time Okay, so this is a scrum board that shows the progress uh, of what is going on and in what order and you know all of those things about it now if i have to show you i mean to really understand the value of a scrum board we'll have to look at a physical i mean an equivalent of how a scrum board might get created um, you know without jira so this is so as you're seeing here this is a real-time scrum board that you know was used in one of my projects so as you can see this the physical scrum board and the you know virtual scrum board we are, that we are creating are simple enough but the advantages of a virtual scrum board as you uh, you know as are apparent is that globally distributed teams can work very easily any changes can be applied real time no additional effort is going to take so all of these advantages make it a wonderful uh, tool that you know uh, make jira a wonderful tool that is much more fitting to do modern project management than to go with you know um, the traditional methods so we'll also in the similar lines we'll look at how to create kanban tools now i'll also show you how project administration works now typically 
project administration is not really uh, something that we would do on, on a day-to-day -day basis. However, since cloud systems are so much more predominant, it's a good idea if you are able to do a little bit of a configuration on your Jira instance. For example, how do you create a project? How do you set a particular workflow to a project? How what does what is a project key and you know how does it get impacted? So we're going to look at all of those things in a you know again I wouldn't go into like higher level of detail here but it would be good enough for you to get started and you know um, gain expertise if that happens to be your area of interest but I would love to show you all and walk you through uh, all of those other aspects of administration as well now what this particular uh, course uh, you know, as I said, it's it's improved. It has a lot more in scope. Uh, since we are a testing group, software testing help is, you know, as the name indicates, we are more into testing and we are more into, uh, you know, how we can uh, involve and improve testers and, you know, how they work. So basically what we've done is now Jira by itself does not, you know, handle tests. It is something that, you know, handles issues as to do items like it, it doesn't you know, differentiate between uh, how it treats an issue of the type bug, how it treats an issue of the type new feature, so on and so forth. But tests are different, isn't it? Tests don't actually go through a workflow, but they have a particular status at a given point of time. So tests are an asset or a project asset that behave quite differently, um, you know, in comparison to the other uh, issue types within Jira. So that is why to extend Jira into the market, uh, into the test management market, there are a lot of additional add-ons uh, that are available for Jira. So I'm just going to take you through them really quickly. Um, so there are many add-ons and I'll show you how many results it will return here. So plenty of results. So there is Zephyr, there's Test Rail, there's Practice Test, there's Q Test. So there's plenty of you know add-ons that are available, plenty of choices available when you want Jira to work for test management. Uh, so all of these solutions can be categorized into two. One is the augmentation solutions, which is like Zephyr. And what Zephyr does is it adds another issue type called test, and you'll be able to manage that through Jira. And then there are teams that already use test management solutions as, uh, such as test trail, queue test, and all that. So they can simply add a plugin that will help these two tools interact together. So since it is practically not possible to talk about all the tools, I have chosen one tool each per category. So the Zephyr is something that, you know, is a very famous augmentation choice. So we're going to talk about how do you install it and configure it, test create the issues of the type test, how do we link them, so how do we establish traceability, how do you manage test cycles, how do you run your tests, report your tests, uh, how do you, you know, generate your test reports, all of that will be covered in this class. Similar things will be covered for a plugin solution as well. And however, when two, I mean, obviously, as it's always the case, whenever there are two solutions, it's a good idea to compare and contrast and get an idea of, you know, how things work in comparison to one another. So we'll do that too as a part of this program. So this is in a nutshell what we are going to cover. In addition to all that, I'm going to go into details about how to customize your dashboard. Let me take you to the dashboard for just a second. So dashboard is kind of like the main, uh, you know, the first page that you see as soon as you log in. Now, what you're seeing is pretty great. Like it shows you the things about what is assigned to you correctly and what is the, going on as an activity in your company. But let's say you're interested in looking at a particular uh, graph or looking at a particular, you know, analytic. As soon as you log into Jira, you will be able to customize all that and add that to your uh, system dashboard. So we'll talk about that as well. Um, in addition to that, there is something called JQL. JQL is to actually, um, you know, query inside Jira and be able to find uh, the two, you know, whatever it is that you're looking for. So let me go back to the issue navigator and show you how that works. Okay. So you go to search, you can actually search and, you know, you'll be able to save a filter so that, you know, the next time you want to search for it, you'll be able to apply the exact same filters. Uh, so basically, the filter op options that I'm talking about is what is called as the advanced search option. So there is multiple ways you can filter. If you want, you can add a new filter. 
and you will be able to you know use jql which is a java uh, jira query language in order to find the issues that you're looking for so i'm going to look into and you know i'm going to actually um, sh uh, show you all of that walk you through all that walk you through all that and you know um, uh, jql is in included as well so let me just show you how uh, a simple advanced search will look like. So we were earlier in the new in the new filter, um, you know, uh, area. Now in the new filter area, you have an option to go in either into the basic where you'll be able to choose your parameters and search as normal. But if you want to go a little advanced, for example, if you want to go for project is equal to, um, you can choose that. And just like SQL you will be able to, you know, uh, let's say I want to find issue type is equal to bug. So I want to, I want to actually get um, all the, all the issues of the type bug and order them by the priority. Again, this is quite simple, but again, just showing you, it will display all of that by priority high all the way to priority low. So this is a great way to, uh, you know, uh, search for uh, issues. So this is a kind of an advanced search. So we'll go into much more details now. There are a lot of things that you can do with this. You will be able to export this into various formats, generate a chart based on it, put it on the dashboard. So there are a lot of things that you can do with JQL. JQL and there is also like, you know, uh, functions and all of that, which we will look into detail. So basically, uh, you know, this is a quick, um, you know, end to end syllabus of what we're going to cover in this program. So as you can see, this will really, really set you on the path to be a power user, power Jira user in a very little time. So now if you're wondering when is this course happening and what do I have to do to enroll? Here is the detail. So the upcoming batch is going to start on 24th. So this is a four day program. Two hours each day starts at 6 p.m. PST. So uh, it starts on a Thursday. So we have a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, two hours each, 6 p.m. Now all the classes will be recorded and all the classes will be, uh, all the recordings will be sent to you every single day. And these recordings are available to you lifetime. So as a bonus, we provide you the uh, premium software testing career package ebook. So that's definitely a great book with rave reviews. So definitely check that out. Now for the most updated price information, definitely, you know, uh, look at this site. And to enroll, you can actually, you know, uh, just use the options that are provided here. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact us uh, through the website and we will be happy to answer you. So I hope this demo has given you a basic idea of what we are going to cover in the JIRA program. And if there's anything else that, you know, we can help you to make a decision that we can do to help you make a decision, let us know. We'd be happy to get back to you. Thank you, everyone. And I hope to see you all in the class. Bye, everyone.